today is a very special day for me. It didn't start out that way six years ago. It was actually a very devastating day. It was six years ago today that I had packed up my car with my computer, my desk, my office chair, and my clothes, and I moved to Redding, California, afraid not sure what the future was going to hold, just knew that my marriage had ended and I was going to run after Jesus. This was my opportunity to pursue God with my heart, with all my heart, my mind, my soul. And I knew that I would find healing and hope at Bethel Church in Redding, California, which is where I took off and I moved to. I found a place to rent with three beautiful young women who were BSSM students, and they were just so gracious to me and loved on me. God, I mean, I just see God's hand, his fingerprints throughout this whole thing, even though it was so devastating to me at the time. I, you know, I was not sure how I was going to make it because I was still paying high rents down there and half a mortgage up here in Idaho. And, you know, I just was like, I know I need you, Jesus. I know that you are the key to helping me survive this unexpected change in my life. And so I went ahead and I moved down there and I spent about three and a half years there during COVID even. That was not fun at all. I did not enjoy that at all because we got shut down all the way. We could not meet in church. We could only watch online. And the community um, of the friends that I had, it, it made it very difficult because we were so locked down there. I never wanted to go through that again. So I'm said on January 1st, 2021, I'm moving to Idaho. And we left that morning and moved back to Idaho. My daughter, Brielle, had come back from the mission field and she was with me. This day, six years ago, was a devastating day for me. It was really hard. I remember getting in my car and driving and crying almost the whole way. Every state I would cross, I would just cry because I knew my life was changing forever. And I wasn't sure how I was going to make it through. But I knew that God was with me. I knew that God was for me. And I knew he'd get me through this. And oh my gosh, I just can't tell you how beautiful my life has been. Because I have seen God come through for me in circumstances when I felt I was in over my head and there was no way I would survive. In fact, I just wrote a book about it. But it's called Hope's Transformative Power. That day began my journey of discovering God's hope and how to hold on to hope in the midst of trials and struggles and uncertainties and fear and raw emotion and pain. I learned that I could trust God. I learned that I could hold on to hope with him, that he would indeed do as he says he would do. He would take care of me and he would get me through. And he did so beautifully. So I just wanted to take a moment and share wherever you're at today. You know, it may feel like a, a tough day. Things may be coming your way that you certainly weren't expecting. You're getting curveballs thrown at you like I did. But just know this, that God is with you. God is for you, and God will get you through this. You just need to look for his fingerprints because it is there. He is with you, and he knows your needs even before you ask. I saw God provide for me when finances uh, took a turn for the worse for me, and I didn't know how I was going to make it, paying those high rents, and God dropped a job in my lap that made double what I had lost financially. So, you know, I just see his goodness throughout my life. And so now, instead of letting this day be a devastating day, it has now become a freedom day for me, a hope day, um, because I know that God will get me through whatever I face now. My faith has grown so strong in that because 
I saw his hand at work in my life time and time again. So I just want to take a moment and encourage you. This will happen for you. God will take care of you. I pray you don't have to go through the devastation I did, but I pray that you will find hope in God for he truly is a good, good father. And he is a good, a good daddy. You can trust in him and he will get you through no matter what you're facing today. He is with you. He is for you and he will get you through. So just remember that. Have a great blessed day and I am celebrating freedom. This is my new life and I'm so excited to get to share it with you and and see what God does, where he takes me. My book is coming out next week. It's Hope's Transformative Power. And I will put a little uh, blurb of the cover of it. And I'll let you know as soon as we get the actual published date. We're in the last stage of editing. So hopefully we get that done this week. And then next week, it's off to the publishers. So you never know what God will do when you have a bad situation, how he can turn it around and make it a beautiful thing. So God bless. Have a great day.